We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you from the Netherlands. We're in the city of Arnhem here, and it's so beautiful and different. It's quite amazing. I'm still learning the difference between the sidewalk, where the pedestrians are, the car lanes, and the bike lanes. There's so many bikes here, you wouldn't believe it. It's crazy. I've almost been hit seven times so far. And um, a lot of people are wondering what I'm doing in the Netherlands right now. Well, this will be revealed very, very soon. There's some interesting things going on. Give me a couple months and you'll be pretty amazed. It's exciting for me and most likely everyone else involved. Um, so I'm sitting here walking through the streets and it's absolutely beautiful here. There's like shops every single set where you look. It's amazing. And um, we ran into a raw food cafe type place. It's all 100% raw. It's called Rawsome and we're going there right now. So here in Arnhem, raw food is unheard of. There's no superfoods in any stores or anything like this. But this woman who created this Rawsome Cafe is going full force with all her love and might and making it happen. And um, she already has some superfoods in here. And this is what's happening all around the world. The raw foods movement is just going boom, 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 boom. It's going to be a worldwide phenomenon soon just like uh, juicing has become in all around the world, such like New York City where you can't even go to one corner without there being a juice bar, where it used to be just complete coffee joints. So here we are, check it out, <laughs> right in the Arnhem, Netherlands. Let's uh, go inside and see what's going on. Here we go. Wow, 100% raw store right in Arnhem. Hi there. Hi. What's your name? Sharon. Sharon? Yes. And you created this wonderful place? Yes, I did, six weeks ago. <laughs> six weeks ago, also because you wanted to just be healthier yourself. Yes, and I also wanted to people to uh, get to know raw foods. Right. And uh, especially the things without the sugar and without the grains and uh, without the wheat. Right. So that's why when you come in, you see my cakes. <laughs> so you right. see that first. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's like unheard of here, raw foods in Arnhem. Like this is like the first ever. It's the first ever, and lots of people don't know it. So they walk in and they ask me, "Do you have bread?" So that's the most common question here. Do you have bread? No, <laughs> I don't have. And how's business? Is it getting more successful? Is it? Today is a good day, yeah, yeah, and uh, past weekend also, but people uh, have to find me, I think. How, how is it compared now to before, like when you first started, like, has it grown or? Uh, last week was weeks. a bad week, uh. so it's grown a little bit, and I have my uh, uh, customers who come three, four times a week, so that's nice. Cool. Yeah. Why did you get into raw food? I uh, had a workshop last year in June. Uh -huh. And I ate a mango pie for the first time. I ate a pie and I didn't get tired and I didn't uh, feel guilty to eat something. And um, then I started to change things in my life. So uh, I was in a, uh, my house was under construction. Wow. And after that, I, try, I tried things at home. Wow. So I stopped eating bread and uh, a coffee. I, don't, I have it here because people like coffee. And I think for me, uh, um, it's, I think it's good to have it for my business, and people usually com uh, combine coffee with a cake, so uh, then they have one good thing. Right. <laughs> they can have water with it, right. so, and the water here is uh, also very nice, so that's okay. Nice. And um, I stopped eating uh, uh, gluten, uh, so for me my energy was going up and my hormones were better. Wow. Because I was going uh, all over the place all the time, especially with sugar. And um, I, 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 was on my, I worked full time and I thought this is something Arnhem doesn't have and I think there's a market for it. Wow. Especially for people who have allergies and uh, cannot eat some uh, things. Like gluten or? Gluten and also milk products. I don't use milk products and people come here and want a cappuccino and I don't have it. 
I uh, make coffee with almond milk. So oh, wow. I, have, um, I, I did a little concession <laughs> for myself. Right. So the coffee thing was, um, was the most difficult thing for me to decide to do it or not. Right. Yeah, because I think it's, uh, I, I don't like it and I don't like the effect of coffee. So right. maybe in a, in a year everybody wants smoothies and juices and I can put that thing out of the store. <laughs> wow. Okay, one more question about Amsterdam. Mm. Like the, what's kind of like the different, like Amsterdam, this like raw food is kind of booming there. Yeah. Do they know about you over here or like what do you think? I worked uh, four days at Alchemist Garden with oh, you did? <laughs> Yes, I did. And that was before I opened my own place because I wanted to know what it was like and uh, how he worked there and uh, what he had on the menu. And so it was, yeah, a, a different city. But I think Arnhem is ready for this. So I'm the first and maybe you never know, somebody else will uh, take the idea. I don't hope so. <laughs> nice. No. But I think, I think it's booming also here. And, right. Uh, a lot of people come here, no world food, but a little bit. More. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the interview. You're welcome. Yeah. This is awesome, guys. All around the world, the raw foods movement is blowing up. She was working at the Alchemist Garden, which is probably the biggest raw food cafe in Amsterdam. And now she's just going out and it's like spreading like a, like a web. It's just unbelievable. Let's see what else you got over here. A chocolate. second serving of cake here. I just duplicated this a second ago. It's so good. I think it's the best carrot cake I've ever had in my life. That's All right, everybody, this is Matt Monarch coming from you, the Netherlands, Arnhem, and we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. The riot would go nuts right now because of the ducks. That was like her first, uh, Word almost, or bato, bato. It's a buffalo. I don't know, it doesn't look like a cow. Yeah. It is a cow, huh? He's got all these dreads. Crazy. <laughs> Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. And I'm still in the Netherlands. We just uh, were on the side of the road and someone just pointed out to me this crazy, this is the mushrooms that you've seen in many of those fairy books and everything like that. Look at this bad boy right here. So the poisonous component in this guy is muscarine, but when you cook it to like 58 degrees or something like that, it transforms into something called muscamol, which is an ibotenic acid, which actually becomes psychedelic. Pretty crazy. It's crazy. If I were to like pick that right now and eat it, I'd, I'd probably die. Okay guys, check this out. We found another one. Um, this is a boletos, this mushroom. You can actually pick these and eat it, and if you dehydrate it, it literally tastes just like meat. And there's something very similar to this, actually the exact same thing in Peru. And we're trying to source this right now. And if you look over here, <laughs> there's more of these other ones that you want to be very careful with. I wouldn't just go be picking mushrooms and eating them. Um, be very careful with this type of thing because you can actually kill yourself if you don't know what's what and what you're doing. Okay, so we're, go we're going back to the car now. <laughs> but, oh, you guys, check this out. This is literally the road. If, if you, 
Here's another one of these fly agaric mushrooms. This is crazy. Oh man. This is crazy. Check this out. Check this out. This is the size we're normally seeing in Peru of the other one that tastes like meat. Look at the size of this thing. If you do this with herbs and dehydrate it, it tastes just like meat. It's ridiculous. And there's another one of those. Here's another magic mushroom. Look at the, this is what you probably have seen on the internet. It's crazy. Check this out. You'd have to seriously be a mushroom hunter to find something like this. It just looks like a little egg sitting here. Look at that guy. I don't even know what this is. It's crazy, it's like hard. That's a mushroom. I wonder what it'd be like to eat one of these right now. <laughs> I'll let that one fly. <laughs> and we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. <laughs> Okay, now we found blueberries right on the road here. Right here, look at this. We all know these are blueberries. Here, let's find some really ripe ones just to prove it. Look, that's a blueberry. Crazy. Yep. Awesome. Be careful when you pick. Okay guys, so... This is muscarine, which is poisonous, but when in very small amounts, you'd be okay. And there's no psychedelic effect at all. You have to cook it over 57 degrees to make that happen. But um, I'm just kind of curious. Like some people take small amounts of poisonous things just to like see what it does, and it won't really. It just makes you stronger. But it's like a little itty bitty bit. <laughs> Tastes pretty good. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay, we're off. When you cook this, it smells really bad, I hear. We'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.